Why did you think I was Canadian? Just because, like, like I feel like Canadians make great husbands. They like, can build furniture and go camping and like pitch tents and like cook on the grill and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Canadians. Good to know. Yeah. You should just like, yeah. start telling people I'm Canadian. The lives of Broadway performers are busy. They only have a few short hours between their matinee and evening performances, and they're giving us an inside look, from grabbing a bite to unwinding, plus a backstage tour. Have you ever wanted to see what we do in the time sandwich between performances? Follow along and find out. This is Broadway Sandwich. Well, it's a beautiful day in New York City, and you've got a friend in me because I'm taking you to the Stephen Sondheim Theater to meet Evan Todd, who currently stars in one of my favorite musicals of all time, beautiful, Carol King musical. You got to get up every morning with a smile on your face and show the world love in your heart. Beautiful tells the true story of Carol King's journey from teen songwriter and hit maker to solo success. Beautiful was nominated for seven Tony Awards, and it won two. It also took home the Grammy Award for Best Musical Theater Album. Don't worry, it's got all the hits you love, plus a bunch of songs you probably never knew she wrote for other music superstars. Evan plays Jerry Goffin, Carole King's first husband and songwriting partner. Together, they wrote 50 top 40 hits. Now, this is Evan's debut as a performer on Broadway, but he's already been nominated for a Tony for his producing work on the revival of Spring Awakening. Evan. Hey. What's going on, cutie? How are you? How was the matinee? It was good. It was good. We have great matinees. A little rowdy, there's like a wine spritzer crowd. Yeah, we got all the drunk moms. It's lovely. It's a mom musical. Come. Um, no, I can't help but notice you right behind me. This is my face. It actually used to be all the way up there. It was like three times the size. So in case anybody forgets, yeah. you're in the show. OK, so we don't have much time. Before you have to come right back here to do your second show, what's on the agenda for today? Uh, we are going to get a bite to eat, because I'm starving. Uh, we're going to work out, and we are going to see my dog, Cooper. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. All right, well, that's a lot to fit in. Well, it's all this way, so let's just start walking. Where you lead, I will follow. All right, sounds good. Yeah, so basically, they have everything you could possibly want in here. I've been here. Drunk, have you really? Drunk late night. They're right? open 24 hours. Yeah, Don't that's... get the buffet that late. OK, yeah. yeah. Oh, beautiful out. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm gonna go grab Cooper. Can you get a table around the corner? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. I'll hold your food. Oh yeah, thanks. All right. All right, I'll be right back. See you in a sec. Okay, this is Cooper. Cooper, <laughs> he was oh sleeping my God. like five seconds ago. Hey, sweetheart. My day just got so much better. Everyone's oh, 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 yours too. Get in there. Yours get too. In there. You gonna eat my dinner? I love him we already. Got him about a year Hiya, ago. Buddy. It's okay, exactly you sit a with year me. now. You sit, just sit. I know. I'm gonna eat. Maybe you can have a piece of chicken oh, later or something, oh, oh. only if dad lets you. I applied to Yale and Northwestern oh and God. all and the Julia. schools, and I didn't get in. I thought I was going to go one direction, yeah. and I ended up having, in, in the best way, this incredible opportunity to go to Juilliard, and I got yeah, a Juilliard. I haven't heard of that school, but. It's a small little school in right. New York City. OK. When I, I to decided in. to go to Juilliard, I was like, oh, this is going to be my profession. Like, I, I knew I was going to pursue acting in some capacity, but going to Juilliard, I was like, oh, this is what I'm going to pursue as a career. Yeah. I had other interests. I had interests in politics and nonprofit work, which I was able to do. At Juilliard? At Ju yeah. So I started two arts-based outreach programs. We bring down Juilliard students to work with middle and high school students in my hometown. And then we started another program called Arts Inside Out, which brings American artists, pairs them with South African artists, and we work with kids with HIV and their moms in South wow, Africa. Beautiful. So then you moved to LA. Yes. And you got involved with Heather's musical? And yeah, so I um, I got a phone call to audition for a musical in LA called Heather's. And I had never seen the movie, didn't know what it was, had no idea that I had this big cult following. And then did you start producing on that show? Or I is did. That when, so how did that, how'd you get involved with that? Putting together a team, fundraising, and getting people passionate about a project that you're passionate about. It's like, this is all stuff like, I've I'm done. Good at this. Yeah, I I've do done this, this. Yeah. in like the nonprofit world. Yeah. It'd be a lot of fun to like find investors in a project and not donors, right? Right. Other people's money. Other people's money. OPM. Everybody learn this. <laughs> OPM. Other people's money. Never spend your own money when you spend other people's money. Right. I guess that was great. Yeah, but we don't have much time, so uh, we gotta put Cooper back, and I'm gonna go work out. I'm coming with, with you. you. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Cool. From what I've learned so far, and I can't believe we haven't met each other until this moment, 
But you're a hustler. Uh, yeah, I've been. I got really good at side gigs. Yeah. So when so I. So why? Why is that? Well, when I was in college, I started cleaning apartments. And so when I uh, got my first job, I got cast in a play at the Old Globe. Yep. I brought in some of my classmates to take over for me because they needed a side job. So I started a cleaning company. You became the madam. I did. You became I the cleaning did. madam. Uh, it was called CG Cleaners. What did that stand for? Cute Guy Cleaners. Oh, <laughs> yes. You have to play Cute to your strengths. Cute Guy Cleaners. So we had so some like, good. handsome actors and dancers who were going around cleaning apartments and Amazing. doing handyman work. Uh, and it was really fun. But then I went out yeah. to LA and I started building furniture out of necessity because I couldn't afford furniture. You're a or dream food. husband. You're like, I need a table, so I want to build a table. Uh, so yeah, we're going to meet a friend of mine who actually met at a commercial audition. I don't usually like to work out with people, but he one, he's jacked and he's really, really fun okay. to work out with. This is my buddy Brock. Oh, yeah, get in there. Well, well, hi. We like to work out in between shows, usually when I need some motivation. Great. So we don't have that much time, so let's go work out. Right, You're gonna teach us, perfect. It's like a bodybuilder gym. I can tell it's kind of like a carry the gallon of water around with you kind yes. of place, you know what I mean? So what do you like about working out between your matinee and evening shows? Honestly, most people like think I'm crazy, but it gives me way more energy for the second show. This is 10. 10, how many are you doing? 12. 12, 11. Oh, almost there. It's that second act. Twelve. Cruise. Twelve. That wasn't so bad. No, see? Not bad. A little warm up. Warm up? Yeah. Woo! Okay, you guys are playing. Yeah. This is how you get all swole like that. That's how you get through that second Looking show. Good. Which, by the way, you have to go do a second show right now. I gotta go. I'll see you later. All right, guys. See you. All right, Evan Todd, uh -huh. favorite part of the show, 60 second sandwich, SSS, are you ready? I'm ready. One minute on the clock. You have to answer as many questions as you can Ooh. in the time given. Oh, how many, uh, what's like the max that someone's answered? Uh, 15, 16. All right, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Start. Instagram user Katrina adds 1021 asks, how did you know you had to do theater? Uh, I was a gymnast and then I wanted to be in front of people. Hackstack wants to know, ever tempted to walk out of the theater with your costume on? No. Three, Lila Jean from Insta wants to know what the most fascinating thing about theater is to you. Uh, that you get to do it every night over and over again. Love that. Four, Eli Loves Broadway says, bless you is what you say when someone sneezes. What do you say when someone coughs? Ew. Quinn Warden asks, does the massage between shows make you feel better or too relaxed for your next show? Never done it, but I would like to. Six, when you see a show, do you like to go in knowing about it or go in blind? Blind. Seven, best perk of your job? Uh, my dresser. Best advice you ever received? Don't compare yourself to other people. Worst advice? Um, everything will just make sense one day. Uh, 20 seconds left. Guilty pleasure? Uh, chocolate. Uh, 11, what surprised you most about being a Broadway star? That um, everyone's just really sweet. 12, hardest thing about being on Broadway? 10 the seconds schedule, left. The schedule. Do you shower after every show? No. <laughs> 14, biggest pet peeve? Um, um, going up on my lines. Favorite Carol King song? Uh, Boy I Love. A time's up, 15! 15. 15. You got 15, that was I'm incredible. Tied. You're tied. Uh, that's very, very good. We got to get you back you to the show. I'm tied with, but I'm Come on, let's go. Okay, okay, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so this was your Broadway debut. Yeah. What was your journey in getting this role? Um, kind of crazy. Uh, I w had never done a musical professionally until Heather's. Right. And so I was in LA, got cast in Heather's, came out here, and then suddenly people were like, oh, you do musicals. I was like, oh, sure, yeah. Oh, this is always fun to point out. So why don't you stand on four, okay. and I'll stand on six. People don't really know about this, obviously they can't see it, but that in theater, we have numbers. So it starts on zero, which is center, and then it goes all the way out two, four, six, eight in both directions. And this all the way, all the way to 16, and that's how actors know where to be on stage. Ours is a pretty intimate theater, so yeah, it's, it's, it's nice small. And small. Like, when you actually look out, it doesn't feel like this massive. Not a bad seat in the house. No, it's really nice. Have there been any really funny audience reactions? Oh my gosh, yeah. Like, audience is always yelling things out. Um, today was really sweet. I came out in the hospital bed, and a little girl went, oh no! Oh, because so I was like, sweet. oh no, no one's gonna die. Kids are the best, they have no filter. It was very like, sweet. Yeah. One of the coolest moments is when I'm, I'm on the couch, and um, when she starts playing, will you still love me tomorrow? Tonight you're mine. completely. Like the whole audience just, Gasps. Do they sing along? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. My aunt actually asked me, she's like, can I sing? I was like, no. No, <laughs> no please don't. Oh, I want to talk about the elephant and I mean the piano in the room. 
which is the only prop on stage right now. Yeah. Is it real? Is it not real? Do okay. you play it? I feel like I'm going to disappoint some people, but this is theater. It's theater magic. This is empty uh, because it has to fly. It has to go off into the wings and oh, actually right. go into the and air. Go so, up. Yeah, so it's empty. It's, um, so they it's took the guts out. They took it all out, but they actually pump in. You, there's speakers so that you can hear music coming from the piano. Bum, 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 it's beautiful. It's original. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. And what's crazy was when Carol King came. Every year at this time, the Broadway and theatrical community from coast to coast joins together to raise money for a, an amazing organization called Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. <laughs> I've been working up to coming. I haven't seen this show. This is my first night. Because she came here and was, played on stage. It was very cool. And there's a moment in the show at the very end where you're like, at Carnegie Hall introducing Carol King. And this slides out. And the real Carol King was on the piano playing the music. She's an love amazing, that. amazing woman. Yeah, she's incredible. I love Carol King. Uh, do you want to go downstairs? I would love show to. Show you my dressing room? Oh, cool. Let's go. All right. So it, at, it's one of the only theaters that's subterranean. Yeah, I was just gonna yeah. say. So like, this is under the stage, right? Um, and it's completely silent. And uh, this is my, this my spot. It's my dressing room. <gasps> this so nice. Thanks. Oh my oh, gosh. Man. I mean, why am I not surprised? This is so nice. Yeah, no, it's pretty sweet. So now you've made it, made your Broadway debut in Beautiful, and you've been Tony nominated as a producer. That's what good. What is next for Evan Todd? Oh man, I don't know, and I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. But what I would like to happen is I want to start producing. Like I said, I've been a producer in terms of bringing on financing to projects that already exist. But I want to get behind a project as a producer and really like develop it. So you are open-minded, but it sounds like you're going to be a producer. And well, perform I don't want to but... just, I, I don't think anyone has to do just one thing, right? right? If it's a project that I get cast in as an actor that I believe in, then I want to get behind it as a producer or vice versa. If it's a project that I believe in, that I want to make happen. I also want to be in it. Yeah. All right, well, I think they may not let me stay here during the show. The dressers may kick me out. OK, that's fair. But you do have to do a show. I do. And I'm so grateful you spent time with me uh -huh. between. Oh, we're shaking so hands? Nice it's you, so, so formal. Oh, give me a hug. <laughs> All right, but actually get out, because it takes me a little bit. OK, you got to get ready. Yeah. All right. This has been fun. See you later. All right, I'll Bye, see Evan. You. Bye.